Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Dragon Speed Shop. So, as you can see, the truck looks a little bit different. <clears throat> I have done a little bit of work. Um, I'm going to apologize. This is going to be kind of a short video. Um, I'm just going to kind of give you guys a walk around of what I've done, um, what's coming up, and stuff like that. So... Most of the stuff I've been doing is just little tiny work. Um, I guess we'll start off on, we got uh, wheels and tires completely done. Um, they have a V8 center cap in them. Uh, there's the rear and also the fronts. Um, I've still got to do, get the center cap in the other half, so pretty easy there. Um, we'll start with the tanks. I got... The tank's fixed. Um, I've still got to drill some holes in it for some fuel lines to connect the two tanks together. And then we can start wiring this truck, getting brake lines in, fuel lines ran, everything like that. Um, we'll take that off, as you guys can see. Um, pull this a little closer. The motor's been painted blue. Um, that's the way his truck is. Um, talking to him, I guess his original motor in the truck was this dark blue. So we're okay with that. Um, for the canvas for the roof of the truck, um, this is an actual piece um, from his truck. He had a little bit extra. Um, I talked him into sending it to me. So this is a, an actual, the actual fabric from the roof of his truck. It looks pretty good in scale. Um, it's kind of a vinyl-ish kind of, I don't know how to describe that. That's oily canvas um, pretty cool stuff um, as go for the cab um, the only thing I have done is I've got the front um, chrome ring in I've got to rust that out um, make that look like it's actually supposed to be in the truck um, the hood's just sitting there I just wanted to mock everything up um, but as you can see this hood still functions as normal as it should <clears throat> um, what you guys can see going on here I'll tip this up is uh, coolant lines so running from the top they run run to the radiator run to the bottom I've been working on that it's been really really tedious time-consuming work um, you can see there how they run through the frame and then they will run up to the radiator so that's been real kind of a challenge to uh, get figured out to make this into different pieces um, so it can come out um, I made a little mistake and accidentally glued this one to the motor but those are going to get uh, painted copper um, all the lines in his truck for that are copper um, the other thing I've been working on um, is this front end um, <clears throat> I've been uh, trying to get a rack and pinion belt for this um there isn't really anything out there that fits this dimension so i've had to hand make it um using some other pieces some different joints and stuff like that but it's coming along slowly but surely i've still got to add another pipe for uh for yeah the steering wheel and everything to connect to sorry my brain's a little fried but that's kind of what's been going on um, slowly but surely um, he doesn't really have door panels he's kind of got these flat panels that have the handles in them and you can see the window behind um, they kind of fit right on the inside of the truck I've got those built um, I modified a the 32 Ford grill um, to match his he's got a big center post down the middle with the old-fashioned crank that used to turn the motor in the truck so got that all worked out um, you can see I've got it all weathered matches the truck itself so pretty happy with that that's uh what's coming or uh, what's been going on um, work's been super busy as you guys know <clears throat> so but hopefully by the next video um, we can actually start um, running all the brake lines throughout this truck um, all the fuel lines, everything like that that we're going to run. Um, again, it will probably be another tutorial. I've done it before in the past, and I'll do it again to show you how I do my brake lines and stuff like that. So, 
Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, until next time, uh, this is Dragon Speed Shop, and I'm out of here.